Hello, my name is McCow's Warriors, and I am back in business. I warned you, the fire was coming. And guess what? Guess what? It's a Halloween special. Happy Halloween, everyone. Make sure to be safe. Um... And make sure to check your candy. And and don't and even if you get an apple and you check it, why would you eat an apple on Halloween, first of all? Okay? Just you're supposed to eat junk food, not apples. Okay, but anyway. Um and also I got this um nice screensaver here. I would I would if someone could comment on here, who is this guy, this guy, this guy, and that guy? I don't I don't know these those four. They look familiar, and it's killing me. So if anyone could identify them, that'd be awesome. It would. So let's start off with the top. Um, um, I'm gonna do a top twenty best horror movies ever. The, this is my opinion. And first of all, um, we got to do some honorable mentions. We got to do it. Honorable mention there. I see you over there scaring all the clown haters. Uh, uh, Hellraiser definitely, uh, and uh, Donnie Darko if you want to count it, and uh, Racerhead over here, another great movie. Saw, the, those are um, honorable mentions. As for The Grudge, no, never in a million years. But anyway, I'm gonna just go ahead and start off with number twenty, ladies and gentlemen, and it is The Rain. Oh my goodness, um, just a great movie. It was. A lot of people loved it back in the day. I didn't think it was really scary, but I'm getting kind of creeped out because I'm afraid the girl's going to crawl out of that well any second. But um, it, it's a really good movie. I, it's very enjoyable. The acting's good. The writing's pretty good. Um, I don't remember a lot about it, but it was good enough to make the list. And there's going to be movies on this list that that are not on this list that you're are you gonna you're gonna probably go where are they Macau's warriors and i just i either think they're good movies or i haven't seen them yet i haven't seen the blair witch project I, um and as for the shining and the original friday the 13th um they're they're good movies i just don't consider them top 20 for me and if they're to top 20 for you that's okay but if Halloween 3 Season of the Witch is your number one um, movie out of all the Halloween movies in the world, just unsubscribe right now because I hate that movie. But anyway, anyway, oh no, she's coming, she's coming. <laughs> the, uh, 19 is The Fourth Kind, a great movie. Out of all of these movies, it was one of the scariest, I think. This movie really... Um, did some damage on my mind. I, I'm going to just go ahead and tell you. I watched it really early in the morning. And I couldn't sleep that night. That's that's how scary this movie was. It's rare that I get scared of movies. It's really rare. This one was like one out of four. In my whole entire life. So it, it definitely deserved. The reason why it's at 19 though. Is because it's it's a pretty good movie. I mean it's not outstanding like some of the other ones, and it's not as entertaining, but it does creep you out. Number 18. The Creature from the Black Lagoon. Yes, indeed. I warned you he was coming. And let me just go ahead and tell you a little bit of a story. I know this movie's outdated. It's obvious. Hate it all you want. Okay? But um, when I was a kid... I couldn't watch half of these movies because, you, of course, all the stuff in them. But this movie I could watch because back in the old days, um, people weren't crazy like we are now. But anyway, um, it was just a fantastic movie. There's some good swimming scenes in it too, but uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. But anyway, it's just a great movie. I always liked the creature. I, I, I forgot what happened in it. I'm going to have to rewatch it again. Um. And it's just a great movie. It's outdated, yes, but it's that it doesn't matter. It's still a great movie. I love the creature from the Black Lagoon, and that's why it's number eighteen. And number seventeen is Halloween Five. That's right, ladies and germs. Um, I love this movie. Uh, a lot of people don't. Um, I think now there's four Halloween movies I like, and the rest of them are trash. I like Halloween One, of course. Halloween 2, 
four and five. And five is one of my favorites, no doubt. I don't know why. It's just fun. It's a fun movie. And I always enjoy Michael Myers. As for the remake with Rob Zombie, what what a waste of film. Um, okay. And I think that was number 17. Sixteen's The Strangers. A lot of people will disagree with this. I can see why. Um, I wanted some more background on the killers, but this movie was frightening. It shows. It just shows you how crazy people are nowadays and how crazy society has gotten. I think this is number 16, right? Um, the Strangers definitely. Uh, the ending, very disturbing, very shocking. Um, just a very good movie, and it freaked me out. It was pretty good. It wasn't as scary. There was a couple jump scares that really got me, but besides that, um, just a great movie, entertaining as can be. Um, and that was 16, I believe. That was 17, 18. Yeah, I'm on the right track. I, I lose my memory. 15's Cloverfield, and a lot of people are going to hate me over this one, but I don't care because this movie's entertaining. And, and I love it. Okay? It's a great movie. Is it scary? No. Goodness, the Teletubbies are more scarier than this. But it's a, just a fantastic film. Very, very entertaining. Uh, one of the best found footages of all time. Pro probably my favorite. Yeah, because Paranormal Activity, it's a good movie. I like it too, but it's not in here. And like I said, I've never seen The Blair Witch Project, which is going to change soon. And VHS I haven't seen either. Um, but this is just a fantastic movie. Number 15, Cloverfield. Number 14, Six Cents. I love it. I love this movie. Um, it's just an amazing movie. Uh, the, the screenplay is just awesome. Awesome-tacular, as Jeremy Johns would say. And I'm, I'm just telling you, I saw the ending coming. Yes, I did, but it did have a great build-up. And it does try to trick you, and I, and I have respect for that. I don't think it's real scary. I think there's a couple parts that are like, ooh. But, um, yeah, it's a great movie. I really like The Sixth Sense. Number 14, y'all. Number 13, The Collector. Now, a lot of people are going probably right now, what is The Collector? And let me tell you what the collector is. It's a very good movie. It's about a guy that is robbing. Uh, he's a contractor and he's robbing this family's house while they're on vacation. But apparently someone else is in the house with him. It is a, a fantastic film. A lot of people might not like it. It, it is kind of gory at some times. The problem with this movie that why it's not even further up is because I needed background on this character. I, I never got that. And the ending was, eh, it was alright. But um, it's still a great movie, and it's a, it's a thrill ride. It's not real scary. It's more of a gory thing, but you get my drift. And Oh, God, I've lost memory of what I... That was 16, right? Yeah. That was 16, 15, 14, 13, and here comes 12. Nightmare on Elm Street! I told you he was coming. One, two, Freddy is coming for you. And, and let me just go ahead and tell you. This movie's absolutely amazing. The premise is amazing. The acting's decent. And as for you Johnny Depp fans, and I, you know I like Johnny Depp. I think he's really cool. Um, he's, he's had bad roles. He's had good roles. He's a fair actor. But um, you might want to tell him not to go to sleep. What, what, what's up with these kids and their headphones? I don't get it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that is number, I can't even count, so I, I, I've just lost it pretty much. Um, that was 15, uh, 14, 13, 12. That was 12. Okay. You see how good my memory is? Number 11 is Halloween 4. I love this movie. Michael Myers fighting those rednecks at the end was just pure amazing. I'm, I'm just going ahead and telling you. A lot of people don't like this movie. It's cliche horror. I don't care how cliche it is. Uh, and it's just a fantastic movie. What else can I say about Halloween 4? Um, it's just great. Uh, Michael Myers is always good. And I'm tired of that doctor. I wish he'd get a life 
get, get a wife, get a couple kids, have his own home instead of chasing a maniac. Get a life, doctor. Get a life. And as for number 10, we have Insidious. I love Insidious. I think it was a, a great piece of work. Um, it wasn't scary. I didn't think it was scary at all. But uh, a lot of people did. But I, I, I just love this movie. I thought it was really co cool. It was great to see Darth Maul back in a movie after that fall, that accident fall he had in The Phantom Menace. But um, very great movie. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, it entertained me more than it scared me, though. Number nine. Oh, no. The scariest movie of all time. And no, I do not love you. I do not love you. Goodness, we're going to just go over this real quick because I can't stand that face. It scares me till this day. Thank you, Scary Maze, for making it even worse than it should have been. And um, I'm going to just go ahead and say scariest movie of all time, hands down. Um, just, I, I'll never get that out of my head. And I'm going to um, go to the next one before I wake up the next morning and find her laying next to me. And number eight, Child's Play. I love Chucky. Chucky is the man. Yeah, and all you Chucky haters, I hope he gets you all. He will get you all. Um, I'm your friend till the end. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Number eight had to be Child's Play. What did you expect? It's just a fantastic film. Just great. I, I just prefer it over some of these other films right here. Because, I mean... It's just so fun. It's not scary at all. I didn't even jump once, but it's just a, it's a popcorn flick, I think. And Chucky's the best, always. Always the best. Number seven, Dead Snow, baby! You should have saw it coming. Nazi zombies in the house. Number seven. This movie, let me just tell you a story about this movie. I watched the first 45 minutes. I, I believe it's an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 45. The first 45 to an hour, this movie's just so dull, okay? It's just so dull. It's unreal. The last half of this movie blew me away. Bloody fun. Awesome fun. I love Nazi zombies, okay? They're awesome. Okay, it's just pure awesomeness. I love this movie to death. The last 30 to 45 minutes saved it, no doubt, and made it one of the best horror movies I've ever seen in my life. Is it scary? No, it's fun. It's fun. Number six, Sinister. And um, a lot of good things about Sinister. The score, great. Uh, I usually don't say that about music. I usually don't notice it because I'm too into the movie. But the score is great. Um, the screenplay, great. The directing, great. The, the, the jump scares, great. Ethan Hawke getting too into the movie like he always does, great. I mean, the man, he needs to be put in a hospital. I mean, he, he I'm, he's so obsessed with... Figuring out this case that you actually believe it's real. That's how good of an actor he is. Uh, shouts out, um, shout out to him. And as for number five, The Phantom of the Opera. A lot of people are probably mad going, what? what? What's this? I love this movie. Light Creature from the Black Lagoon. When I was a kid, it was one of the only movies I could watch due to all the horror movies having all kinds of stuff in them. But, um... Just a fantastic film. I love this film to death. I love it. And, uh, oh my goodness. I, I, I don't know where to start. I haven't seen it for a while, but this is the version I like. I haven't seen any of the other ones. I haven't seen the Gerard Butler version. This is an older version where um, color was just coming in, I believe. But anyway, let's go to number four. Halloween. That's right. How could it not be in the top five? And a lot of people are going to get mad because it's not my number one. It's just my opinion, y'all. Remember that. Number four is Halloween 
definitely. I love this movie to death. It is the best, um, one of the best slasher films ever. I have one I prefer over one, over this one, but this is the creator of all that is to come with horror movies. This is the um, start out, I believe, and it's just a fantastic film. Number three, The Descent. I love this movie. It's disgusting, bloody. Um, it's scary jump scares, and if you're claustrophobic, do not watch this movie. I have warned you. The only bad thing about this movie, it could have been number one, but the ending's just okay. I wanted a better ending, I thought, but otherwise, this movie's just awesome. Just awesome. And I'm glad they didn't go with that one ending that they were talking about. But um, just an awesome movie. Number two, Scream. You should have saw it coming. Um, my favorite slasher movie of all time. Um, just a great movie. Funny at times. Um, it had a great screenplay, great ending, great beginning. Just fun movie. It's not real scary, but I love Ghostface. He's awesome. And number one, ladies and gentlemen, you will not see this one coming. And I know you've forgotten about it. And how dare you! Forget about this movie, Night of the Living Dead. How dare you? 19, uh, I think 60s or 50s, I don't know. Fantastic. What can I say? This movie brought it. This is movies right here. I love this. It was one of the first zombie movies, I believe. George Romero at his best right here. This movie is just groundbreaking it's a classic it's um it, i don't care if it's black and white it was good okay it's just a it's my favorite horror movie hands down now i've only seen it once so if i rewatch it again it'll probably be um not as good as the first time but the ending was awesome never saw coming i was shocked out of my seat i'm not gonna spoil it for you check this movie out it's a classic George Romero at his best. Black and white. Who cares? It's great. Number one, ladies and gentlemen. Um, make sure to like, comment, and su subscribe to one of the greatest channels that ever lived. You know it. You know it. Um, I got some more videos coming up. This is a Halloween special. Everyone have a safe Halloween. Do not eat any apples. Not because there's razor blades. But... Because who eats apples on Halloween? Eat candy. Eat junk food and get fat, ladies and gentlemen.